Hello everyone. You like my skills? I've been practicing. Have you guys been practicing? Whoa, I nearly lost it. Hello. Let's wait for a couple more people to come on because I'm going to say some live hellos today. Some live hellos because I know they'll be watching. What have you guys been up to this week? You know, I've had another week at home. What have you been doing? I have been busy, been doing the challenges and I have been doing some Zoom lessons. I have been doing some footwork zooms, coordination. Whoa, nearly lost it. Okay, should we say hello to Harry and Jack? Hello guys. Should we say hello to Lillian and Catherine? Hello to you guys. Tom and Nathaniel and Ollie, you guys did a Zoom session with me, didn't you? So hello to you guys. And Lucas and Neve, you guys did as well. Hi to James. Hello, guys. And should we say a hello to my sister, Lillian, my sister Jessica, Gracie, say hello to Jacob as well. And I have a very special announcement. So my brother, Alfie, and his girlfriend, Georgia, had a little girl the other day. So I am an auntie again. Woo! So congratulations to you guys. Woo! I wish uh, I had a big siren to say, well done, congratulations to Iona. Okay, so also I would like to say hello to my friends in Gloucestershire, who is Ruben, Sam and Bex and Gary and I have a special trick for you guys or oh, it's not really a trick it's something to practice so <clears throat> everyone can have a practice of this get a pair of socks because I know you might not have a ball so you have to throw it up clap and catch in the other hand and clap so that is your practice this week okay Bex you got that for the boys yeah gonna try that Thumbs up, I like it. If anybody else wants to try that one, put in a clap in there. It's a bit tricky, it's a bit tricky. Okay, and also I have a special little announcement. So Ava Rose and Ethan have been watching nearly every week, but they are too young to actually join in in the challenges, but they have a special certificate and they can choose which stickers go onto their certificate. So, hi Ava and Ethan, well done guys, well done. Okay, so, <clears throat> you'll remember every attempt you get in goes into a hat. Yeah, there's a few this week. Goes into a hat to win a mystery prize. Could be big, small, tiny, massive but it has to fit in the post, okay? So we'll do that later. <clears throat> but I also am giving away Freddo's from my Easter pack. So we started this back in Easter. Okay, these are fresh. And if you like my video, you go into a hat to win a Freddo. So this week's like goes to Priscilla. Priscilla. You get Freddo's on the way. So thank you for liking my video. Guys, like my video this week and we'll pick another winner to win Freddo's. Chocolate. Hey, might as well. Okay. <clears throat> so guys, <clears throat> I'm just going to say before we do the announcements, the winners, I'm just going to say that I launched something called Winning Wednesday. It's like a winning corner. If you can create a really snazzy poster, you go into a draw and I draw the winner next week and you could win a chocolate box. I mean, come on, chocolate box. Get creative, start doing it. Start doing a little drawing, which will be brilliant. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get rid of one of these and I'm going to say our first challenge 
for the six and unders was that you had to roll the ball and you had to trap it, but you had to roll it through socks. It was a little goal. You had to roll it through socks. Now the winner didn't. They had books. They put books as the goal. And they did it. And the six and under who won it, they got 22. 22 is massive. Well done. And the winner is James. You've been doing it every week, buddy, and winning. Because you've been doing so well and you've got the most each week. So well done. So James. Yeah. Woohoo. You get the winning cup and the prize pack. James, well done. Okay. <clears throat> so, the seven to nines. This was tricky. I got told this was a bit tricky this week. Again, you had the goal and you had to hit the ball through the goal and you had to keep going backwards and forwards. And the winner, the top score, got 23 this week. 23. It goes to Emily. Emily, well done. Yes. Whoa, Emily gets the cup. Well done, Emily. Okay, so the 10 plus. It was really, really, really tricky. Okay, and they had to change hands. I might not be able to do it myself. They had to change hands walking through the goal. Okay, and the winner... It's a bit older, this boy, so he did really, really well. And he got 37, because I counted. It was Harry. Harry, well done, mate. You actually joined in in one of my challenges. So well done, you get the prize pack. So well done. <clears throat> Harry gets this. Well, he doesn't get this, he gets the prize pack. But well done. Brilliant. Okay, so. Who? is going to get the mystery prize this week. Who's it gonna be? Let's give a good shake. Oh, see? Okay. The winner is Max. Yay, well done, Max. You get the mystery prize this week. So well done. That is brilliant. So guys, thank you for watching. It's good. Remember to like my video. The challenge will come out on Tuesday and I would like to say a big thank you to Lillianne because she was in the last challenge and because James has been doing so well at the under six, he is in my new video. So that will come out on Tuesday. So have a watch of this. This week it's no rackets. Oh, no rackets, just a ball needed. So we'll see who can get top scores in that one. So guys, stay safe, stay well. Stay challenged and be creative to this week. Send in your attempts. You could win a chocolate box. Okay, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.